Hey guys, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories. Pretty sure this is episode 7, actually. Wow, didn't expect it to go on this long. I mean, this is, was originally a mobile game, so I thought it was only going to have, like, those four worlds and then maybe an extra one. But wow, I think they had an entire four extra worlds. Anyways, I kind of want to take a break from the exact same system of get the card, use the card, beat the crap out of the monster with a higher level card, rinse, repeat. So, I decided to do the 100 Acre Woods, and I hope it's not like the rest. I mean, it wouldn't make sense if it's like the rest. That's because, come on, way the Ooh, it's always been mini games. In the first game, it's mini games. In the second game, it's mini games. Any game that has way of the poo, it's mini games. And I like it that way. It's just, I don't know, a kind of fun place to relax. And I thought about doing a bonus episode about Winnie the Pooh back inside of the uh, first game's playthrough. But then I just realized that, yeah, nobody's going to want to watch that. And that's going to be a lot of different clips because you have to get page after page and all that. And, yeah, that would be better off for a stream. Or, nah, not even that. That would <laughs> be a painful stream. So I'm going to just take it easy. And hopefully this is what I think it is. Something's over here. In all honesty, I wasn't reading that. Oh, do I have to catch Piglet? Do I just have to hit the bu- oh. Okay, that was easy. Oh, that's cool. So, this is mini games? When you get like a card set every time you do it? Oops. I'm trying to talk to Pooh Bear, but. Oh, I guess I can't talk to him. Alright. <laughs> can I go in his house like in the old game? I can't activate the file like in the old game. Nope, I can go in here. Oh. Looks like all clocks in this game have the stop effect. Kind of a cool little thing in battle, but not going to be really helpful in Pooh Bear's house. Control's a bit funny, I gotta tell you that. Can I still hit this? Nope, won't even let me get close. Oh, what if I go up here? Still nothing. Alright, let's move on. You know, this is the first time I've went to a world and everything's not a big box with, like, varying platforms. Eh, yeah, level four. Free money, I guess. Anything that's under five, I don't use. Especially against bosses, because even though bosses sometimes have low numbered cards, they're very rare and they usually have a majority of six to seven, even nines now with the last boss. So cutscene here, I didn't get to smash the last pots. Poor Pooh Bear. Nope, oh, he's okay.
Okay, so... What happens if I just... Oh. Oh, this is just a bunch of mini-games. I hope I get rewards for this stuff. Let's see, what is this? Uh, throw a coverage in there when you hit triangles. That's confusing. Eh, it's probably just you'll figure it out as you play. You know, something I do gotta say I like about this game is you go through the entire game with the actual Keyblade, with the difference be being, uh, ow. Okay, so you have to be a little bit hit early on the timing. You go through the entire game with the normal Keyblade, while inside the other games you almost always will have an upgrade, and that's because, um, inside this game, all your Keyblades are on cards. So I guess some people are not going to like that, but I kind of do, because you still are getting new Keyblades without messing up the aesthetic of the cutscenes and stuff like that. Oh, do I have to, like, protect Pooh Bear when he tries to chase the stupid butterfly? Oh, jeez. This actually might be a little hard. So I only have to get 30, it looks like, so it's good. What's with the carrots? Didn't say anything about that. Uh, hit. Oh, I have the triangle. Oh! Oh! Oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do it now. Shit. Oh, it only knocked me down for one. <laughs> you would think that would make me go wooly totally like Henny the Pooh over there. Oh, it's not over? Does this go to I fail? I mean, I think I already won. Now I'm gonna start screwing up because I'm looking at the counter instead of freaking field. Oh, there's Pooh Bear. I'll keep Pooh Bear safe no matter what. Oh, cool! You can hit two of them with it. Bit disorienting, actually. Ow. Ah, goddammit, I'm looking at Pooh Bear. <laughs> oh, well, it looks like I did it. Cross slash... Oh... Oh, hell yes. Cloud, my man, you just get a power-up! I'm gonna have to try it out at, at when we actually get to fight something. Alright. Okay, don't hit the pumpkins. wonder what the next minigame is gonna be. This makes sort of sense. So I just need to make sure I don't pop the balloons. Oh, nope. I'm going down. I'm going down. Oh, look at that. Little Pooh Bear. Yeah, when I hit circle, he like wags his little feet and it makes me go up. Okay. This looks easy. Oh. I gotta collect them all. Oh, there's the bees. Gotta get it, gotta get it. This is probably just me, but I have like an inner collector in me, and if I could see collectible items, I'll always go for them. Right, slowly, slowly, slowly. Nope, stop, stop, up. I don't want to hit the tree branches. I mean, I'm going to guess that the uh, balloons are the amount of like hits you can take, but it didn't say anything like that. It just said that if you lose your balloons, you're uh, game over. I don't want that to happen. Oh. <laughs> that sounds horrible, like Pooh Bear saying, Do I want to go out like this? Do I want to die like this? <laughs> oh, Pooh Bear, you shouldn't be thinking about that. Of course, I'll keep you safe. Just keep waggling your little feet. Okay, I got this. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Help me out here, Pooh Bear. There we go. I got two green. This 
green one over there. It's kind of cool that you like can have all three of the colors as your balloons if you like pop the right ones, I think. Or maybe the red one's always going to be the last one to stay there. Yeah, so you always have to have it of a different color. Oh, no, 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 no. no that's the branch. There we go. <laughs> Everybody's going to be like, just die, you don't have to get them all, and I'm just like, but it's so tempting, I gotta, I gotta get them all, they're just so big and yellow and collectible-y, and they're all here and not hidden, so I can get them all right now, and I won't have to play the minigame again if there's some kind of secret, ooh, what if there's a secret if you get everyone, or well, maybe you have to get everyone, that would suck if you had to get everyone to win, but it doesn't say anything about that, it just says like, go up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess if I wasn't like trying to get all of these, I would have I would have been done by now because all I would have to do is avoid the branches. And as you can kind of look around, if you've been looking at the tree, I've been looking at the gold things to find my way. You can see that you can kind of just go up, really, and not have to worry about it except for maybe go to the side sometimes. Ooh, I see that you there, Mr. Sneaky Twig Tree thing. Gotta get it. There you go. Thanks, Pooh Bear. Let me out here. Slowly. Slowly. I wonder how many of these things there are. Well, uh, there's like a meter at the right side of the screen. That looks like it's gonna be hard to get through, so I'm gonna go through here. Ow! Sheesh, the higher up you get, hit it gets. Oh, nope, that's impossible. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Hell yeah! Alright, once again. Yeah. Ah, damn it. This actually controls pretty damn bad. I'm surprised I'm doing so well. Oh, no, 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 no. No. Bees on bottom. Um, branches on top. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Hey, hey, oh, no. No, it turned around. It shouldn't be able to turn around. Oh, I bet I have to grab that big one to win. Entire episode is just gonna be like a long mini game. Should I just pick mini game and grab it? Hands up! Oh no, no, no! I hate having one life in any game. Being one hit, what, hit from death is just so horrifying to me. That's why I don't play games like Crash Bandicoot. It's just nah. I'm not a fan of the one hit kill thing. If you have like a shield and it's like a bullet held, then yeah, I can do it because then there's like three hits. I grab the bullet. Oh no, do I go up? Oh yeah, perfect 500. Oh cool, I got a trophy. Ace pilot. Huh, cool. That sounds like Meteor. Oh well. I might actually have a reason to use more than one fire. That actually sounds pretty damn cool. I'm gonna try these out uh, on some enemies if I can. I wonder if I have any mini hidden heartless cards. Oh, I know where this is. This is a uh, boo bear thing. You know, with this game's controls, I couldn't imagine it being like the first game where you had to like jump in specific areas. And, like. It was like a platformer. Nope, I, I have to do the platforming. Wait. Oh, that's cool. Is this going to be like Simon Stead's? I hope it's like Simon Stead's. I'm good at those kind of games. Alright, I'm going to have to concentrate so I will shut up here.
Is this just gonna keep going? I might just lose on purpose. It's because this is gonna take forever. First I have to watch this and he like repeats the same pattern at the beginning that adds new stuff. So I'm I'm thinking about it. It's the failing on purpose. Well I'll try this one. I think I can do this. Oh, wow. Do I get to go to the clouds? Uh, nope, another mini game. I, th I thought we were going to the clouds. I right, collect prizes, publish in the sky, pick up Pooh Bear. Oh. Oh, no. They're gonna have to make me he do speed stuff with Pooh Bear. Roll? Why would you roll? I mean, this is certainly really cool. Right, let's go here. I don't think you can fail this one. I mean, you, the only tie point of it is to get points. Get it? Point. Points. Ah, I made, I made it funny. You know, I kind of like streams a bit more <laughs> purely because you can kind of talk to people while... Nope, I thought I could go under there. That was wrong. Let's get Pooh Bear back. Maybe it's because you can talk to people and you can they can ask questions and stuff like that, but with this, get the get the wit. There we go. Uh, you just have to kind of talk about your own stuff. And even though I like to concentrate on the game a lot, uh, I don't really have much of a life to actually talk about like a lot of other YouTubers where they like, go on for hours about how the last Tom Kenny movie. Then again, any movie with Michael Bay is a good movie. That's just me.
Huh? Oh, it gave me a card instead of a card uh, move set. That's interesting. Yeah. We're gonna get start getting cards now. How many more mini games are there? I think that's everybody. Unless there's one for Owl after Eeyore. I mean, I guess this is cool? I like that you actually are using cards inside of this area, even if it's for a minigame. What's the point of using the weaker version of the healing thing? That's what I'm wondering. Does Pooh Bear go when I use that? Oh, he just flies up to the end and falls back down. I thought he got blown to the side for a second there. Sheesh. This is surprisingly hard. Oh, nope, he's out. Ah, damn it. First mini game I failed. Ah, why? Now, let's just do this again. I think the reason why I failed is because I was using, uh, I wasn't using slates very often. It said something about using powerful slates. Let's go ahead. Anything? I mean, we can heal Pooh Bear. And then, ah, damn it. I don't really like how there's two cards mixed in with the higher numbers like 6, 8, and even I think a 9. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and like pit my uh, level 2 slates at the very beginning so those get lost and I won't have to worry about using them. And have the higher numbers at the higher upside. So just wait for the 2. There we go. Let's go ahead, pit my healing in another one of these. See what I mean? They have like, uh, they have any number from I think 1 to 4, or 1 to 6, so. I do like the uh, wind ability because it like allows you, you know, to really do what you want with it. <laughs> Only seven left. Seven's my lucky number. How many mini games have we done? Seven? 
If you've done seven, I'm gonna laugh. Oh shit. I'm just gonna have to like use my slates and try and hope that Pooh Bear doesn't get injured. There's only four of them left. Nope, 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 nope. Don't touch him. I'm just gonna card break the next one with my zero. Alright, just take him out then. Can't even... There we go. Now. So we just had to get rid of those guys. Yeah, it's probably a trophy for if you do it in like a certain amount of time. Oh, there's the arrow's uh, tail. Stuff is going on in the background, so I'm going to have to turn off the mic for a while. I'll be back, don't you worry. You are... Riku! What are you doing here? Not happy to see me? Let me know if I'm getting in the way. You know, of something that's more important. Huh? I didn't mean that. <laughs> Spare the excuses. I bet that you had all but forgotten about me. Are you crazy? Come on! I came all this way looking for you! But you're not anymore, right? Now it's only... Naminé that you're looking for. You don't care about me, just like you never cared. At all. About her feelings. Naminé's? <laughs> I knew it. Never even gave it a thought, did you? Just cause you wanna see Naminé. Sorry. Doesn't go both ways. Tell you the truth, Naminé doesn't even want to look at your face. Why not? You should ask your memories. Why Naminé disappeared from the islands. Remember that, and you'd know. Did I... Did I do something? 
Is it my fault? Riku. Go home, Sora. I'll care for Namine. Anyone who goes near her goes through me. What's what's wrong with you? We're supposed to be friends. Please, Sora. Since when have you ever cared about me? Namine's not the only one who's sick of looking at you. So am I. Riku, stop it! Okay, Riku is officially kicking my ass. I have to use everything. Alright, if I lose this, uh, I'm obviously going to have to take a few tries, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, God! Okay, he just kicked my ass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pit the number of times I failed and the clip of when I actually win the damn fight and the entire fight. And uh, just do it like that. That should work. Alright, see you guys. Yeah. 
Seven tries. Dear God. They got that on camera, right? Please, for all the guys. Okay. Okay, it's working. What's that? Arrow. Oh, is that's that defensive spell that I loved. Hmm. What should I pick? Okay. Oh, Riku, please wait. Huh. Well, that was interesting. Sorry if I, I missed that last little part right, where I uh, selected uh, my level up. I picked the slate, which was Sonic Rush. Riku, where are you? Sora, are you okay? Don't worry about me. Riku, what happened? Hmm, sure was strange. Almost like Ansem was back, controlling Riku again. But we got rid of Ansem for good. Then I wonder what is wrong with Riku. Hold on, the kid. If he's with Riku, he might be in danger. Sora? I know. You're thinking Riku isn't your friend. But that's just not true. You sure? Well, I know he said some awful things to you back there. But you gotta remember, we are in Castle Oblivion. Why folks lose their memory here a little bit at a time. Riku's probably just forgotten that the two of you were such close friends. That's all. So he just forgot? My guess is that's so. But Sora, instead of being sad, we have to figure out a way to help Riku get his memory back. If we all work together, why, we're sure to get you through this. No need to mow. Jiminy's right. You shouldn't push your friends away. Yeah. Okay. Sora? Do you remember our very first promise? Huh? Always oh, smile. That was the promise we made to each other the first time we met. We promised to never forget to keep smiling. You're right. I have a feeling I wasn't supposed to go into the Hundred Acre Woods, I was supposed to do something else and then level up before that fight. Because that was way too hard. Well, it was nice having a break and then going into that. I think I'll leave the next room up to a mystery. Okay, yes. Hope you guys enjoy this episode and I hope you guys tune in for the next. Nice taking a break and then going through absolute hell. Piece of shit. Ah, my God. See you guys.
Thanks for tuning in.